What's up, Giants Nation? Welcome to Giants Talk number 12. I'm Jonas Dax Wiesinger, first time hosting this show. I'm here with our special guest, Coach Mattingly. How are we feeling today? Uh, feeling great, yeah. Another day to get better and practice, man. So, yeah, appreciate you, me. Appreciate you having me on the show, yeah. So, uh, we're coming out of two games against Tels. Mm -hmm. uh, we won both of those games. Uh, what are your thoughts about, about those games? Yeah, games were great. The first one we won in convincing fashion. The second game at Telfs was a little uh, different, you could say, with all the bad little rain we had. And then the fog was a little wet, a little cold. Um, not many fans there, so mm -hmm. it was a little quiet. Um, of a game. Uh, Bashan got the start the whole game, which was awesome. He was able to uh, really play again at another high level. Yeah, he played in the AFL last year, of mm, course, yeah. with the Bears, but being able to play with us and execute, it was great. Um, I think we had, again, another six, seven, eight guys touch the ball. Um, Marcel scored his first touchdown, which was awesome in the AFL. So our second week in a row of having another guy score their first career um, AFL touchdown. Everybody got to play again, and yeah, another convincing win, forty-seven to three. And now, yeah, the bye week after that, and hopefully you guys are rested and ready to go for the big one coming up on Saturday. Yeah, I hope so too. You already said it, the big one against mm -hmm. the Vikings. How important is like the the bye week before the the Vikings game, so we have another week to prepare? Yeah, um, it would have been nice going to Paris and yeah, then see AFL <laughs> semifinal. That would have been really cool, but. I think for you guys as players and the team, everybody needed a true Saturday and Sunday off to be with their families, just relax, do whatever they need to do, sit at home and do nothing or go to the gym. I think it was much needed. So, and getting two days of practice gives us extra time to prepare, get healthy. Um, I think we're going to have around 47, 48 guys on the roster this week. So our biggest roster yep. yet. Um, so Pretty much, I'd say we're almost fully healthy, ready to go. And yeah, anytime you can get extra time to prepare for a team like the Vikings is always good. They're, they they really dominated us the first time. And yes, we've clinched uh, the home playoff game, yep. which is awesome. But it doesn't mean that we can just not come out with some attitude and revenge on our mind and go get ourselves a win on Saturday. Yeah. So uh, after the... The Vikings game, we also have Prague, so mm -hmm. two big opponents. Yeah, like we yeah. all, all, we all knew it's gonna be a hard schedule, so it's nice to have the bye week. But uh, now we have two big games mm -hmm. um, that don't really affect our seating. Yeah, yeah. So how do you do? You want to approach those two games? Yeah, we we gotta win. I mean, obviously, we mm -hmm. can't go into the playoffs with not getting at least one or two wins under our belt, losing. Two in a row would be tough for momentum. Yeah, there's the, I think it's a four-week break with yeah. you guys going to Canada, um, which does help a bit. But, yeah, it'd be nice to win those games and play hard and, and play well and continue to keep getting better. And also, technically, there still is a chance that we can come in first place, so that should still be on everyone's mind. It's not unreachable. It's, it's tough to get there, but it's still possible. So that should be one thing for you guys, too, is that everybody can realize, hey, um, we can still come in first place potentially and, and play our butts off and see if, if we can't get it done. And even if we win and we don't come in first place, well, we finish nine and one and everything looks good and it would be another good season for the Giants. And then we would just have to capitalize in the playoffs this time around. So Perfect. So at the last game, we had uh, two MVPs. Yeah, yeah. Who were those guys? Yeah, offensively was Valentin Reisner. He had... Only two catches, but for, I think, 75 yards, yeah. 80 yards, two touchdowns. So that was impressive. He was deserving to get his first uh, MVP sticker of the year, finally getting a lot more playing time than last year. Um, he's really grown into his role as a tight end and, and receiver this year. So, uh, Val, great job to you. You're more than deserving. Um, and then defensively, we had our Mr. Old Man, uh, Stefan Prometzer, finally got himself one. He had... I think it was three or four tackles, a TFL, and another interception. I think he has five on the year now. So, uh, Stefan, you're getting old, but you have a few years left. You're playing quite good. So, yeah, shout out to those two guys. Um, and you're more than deserving for your, your helmet stickers and, and great job. So.
So this week we don't only have a big game coming up, so we also have some uh, special events for our fans. Yeah. What what's, what's do we have? Yeah, so week? we have our lovely skydiving team uh, coming in again, bringing the ball to middle of the field to the referees, which will be really cool. Um, we'll have to speed up our pregame warm-up this time so we're not on the field as they're trying to land kind of like we were last time. We can make it clear for them, but – that's always a cool thing for photos and people. It's not a, a normal thing by any means that the game ball gets brought in by skydivers. Um, and then at halftime, we have a, a great band playing. Uh, they've played, I think, 300-something shows in Europe, five across the States. They have they seem to be really, really awesome. So to have a, a live band at halftime would be great for the fans. And then just the atmosphere of the game, it will make it more of a – a true event than it is just a, a football game. So with all the activities we have outside pregame and then, yeah, skydivers band. And then of course you guys playing on the field, it should be um, a great last regular season home game to end, end the year on a high note before the playoffs. So it should be really, really good. So that's it for today. Uh, our big game against the Vikings on Saturday kickoffs. At three, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have uh, take it again on uh, one o'clock. One o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have food there. We have tattoos for our fans. Uh, yeah, we have the what else? photo, photo box. box yeah. yeah, and then the throwing things for the kids. So yeah, which... lots, lots of cool stuff. So yeah, yeah. be there and uh, let's have a great, great day, great game. Yeah, be turning on YouTube to the live stream, yeah. of course, as always. And tickets are already on sale. Yeah, yeah. so. Try to get them. It probably will be sold out at the box office. So try to get them early and be on time for kickoff. Last year, people were coming late for the Vikings game. You don't want to miss the biggest game of the season in the regular season at home. So, yeah, let's go Giants. Go Giants.